Have you been diagnosed with nasal polyps? Contact Prism Clinical Research for more information about our nasal polyp study. The Wild dropped their fourth straight tonight, falling 3-2 to two to the visiting New York Rangers. It's time for Wild Breakaway, presented by Prism Research. With West Walls, I'm Audra Martin. The Minnesota Wild are back on home ice tonight for the first time after a very tough five-game road trip. The only problem tonight is they're taking on the best road team in the league in the New York Rangers. And even without their ace between the pipes and the fact that they were playing on back-to-back -back, or second of back-to-back -back games tonight, the Rangers were able to get the job done tonight and the, the Wild simply just come up short. Yeah, I mean, good news for the Wild. Uh, the Wild have only scored the first goal in the last two or three games. They were able to get the first one tonight, first blood here tonight. Uh, but they were not able to hold on um, to, that, to that lead as the game went on. And the second period really was the story of the game for me. The Minnesota Wild um, probably outchanced the New York Rangers. I want to say between eight, eight and ten chances for the Wild to probably two for, for the uh, New York Rangers. They scored on both their opportunities. The Wild come up empty in the second period. Then it was catch up in the third period. thought the Wild played pretty solid. We're able to cut it. Um, back to a, to a one-goal game in the third, but just come up a little bit short uh, to a very good, uh, very stingy uh, New York Ranger club tonight. Well, here's a look at tonight's final stats. It was the Rangers winning the shots battle, out shooting the Wild 30-27. to 27. The Wild continue to be rock solid on the power play on home ice, one for three tonight, and a perfect three for three on the penalty kill. Now, Bruce Boudreau was asked if his team is gripping the sticks too tight or trying to do a bit too much. He says it's all about getting back to the basics trying very hard to make the right plays and you, you see it yourself out there and there's so many turnovers there you, that it's uh, uh, it's ridiculous but at the same time it, it's hard to tell an athlete not to try and their hardest and, and do what they think is right but they it's just they got to get it in their heads that what worked will work again and once that happens then I think uh, we'll we'll get back on the on the road to success so here's a look at what's next for the Wild. It's a very quick turnaround as they head on the road now for an afternoon of hockey against their neighbors to the north, the Winnipeg Jets, who most likely are going to miss the postseason again this, this year. Uh, but a team who would love to play spoiler as the Minnesota Wild continue to struggle. They'd like to add on to it, I'm sure. So the Minnesota Wild need to forget about this one and have a good outing tomorrow night. Yeah, and if the Jets want to play spoiler, uh, not a better opportunity than in Winnipeg because that's where they play their best, some of their best hockey at home. They're not quite as, as stout and don't play as well when they get out on the, uh, on the road. So a uh, quick turnaround for the Minnesota Wild, uh, less than 24 hours, 22 hours, and uh, tomorrow afternoon up there in Winnipeg. And uh, listen, folks, it's, it's a bit of a tough time right now for the Minnesota Wild. Um, everybody's got to give just a little bit more to get through this. It's not going to be easy, but when the Wild do get through this on the other, on the other side of this, um, they're going to be stronger for it, as Bruce said in his post-game presser here tonight. Well, hopefully the Winnipeg Jets are exactly the matchup the Wild need to end this four-game skid. We'll see if they can get the job done tomorrow. 3.30, join us on Wild Live on Fox Sports North. In the meantime, for West Walls, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway, presented by Prism Research.